Okay, I did a couple of videos on dryers, filter dryers before. I still get questions about what they can and cannot do. So I thought I'd kind of go over this uh, another time with a little more on them. Okay, here's a suction line dryer. It's got the little balls in it. It has a fiberglass filter. The, dry, the balls, of course, are desiccant balls. They are there to dry only, although they probably do some filtering too. This fancy thing is actually the filter. Okay, this one's a hard core one. This is uh, actually has that same kind of uh, fiberglass filter. This is probably a little better at filtering than, uh, than this is. I'm not really saying it's that much better. This one here is a bi-flow liquid line dryer for heat pump. These dryers, filter dryer means just that. It's a filter and it's a dryer. It will filter out large particles of stuff. Some of them will filter out very small particles. I can't believe this is going to filter out a lot, but okay. I don't know, maybe this will. But they're designed to be used in a system with the refrigerant moving through. These two, the refrigerant's moving through in liquid. This one, the refrigerant is moving through as a gas. When they're used in that way, then they do fairly well. Because the refrigerant is moving through there, it's filtering these things out and it's drying out any moisture that could be in the refrigerant. Um, one other thing I didn't mention, these blocks like this and these balls are also, uh, they're a base, so they are designed to neutralize acid too. That's what they do in the system. Now the suction line dryer is usually put in when there's been a compressor burnout usually like a bad burnout or something where it was actually pumping while it was falling apart or dying or burned up the windings big time a lot of smoke and stuff that's what this is for this actually although some companies say you can continue to use them just leave them in i would say these should be pulled out after oh a couple three days Note this uh, suction line dryer here has pressure taps on either end. Those pressure taps are to determine the pressure drop across it. If the pressure drop gets to a certain point, it needs to be replaced. And uh, I think if it got to the point where the pressure drop made it necessar necessary to replace it, I would put another one in and I would also pull it back out after a couple of days because you've got a really dirty system there. These two liquid line ones usually are designed to be left inside. This is a BFK 163 here. That's a 16 cubic inch dryer. Pretty good sized dryer for, you know, heat pumps uh, five ton and below. Now, if I had a worst case scenario, running burnout, very bad burnout, lots of phosgene gas and so on when I open the system up. I would put an oversized suction line dryer, oversized liquid line dryer, come back in a couple of days, replace both of them, do acid tests to determine if there's still acid in the system. And sometimes even if there is an acid in the system, kind of going by seat of my pants, I might replace them again. Uh, at this point, you've gotten to, to the point where probably the equipment is not worth bothering with if it has to be, uh, if you have to do that much cleanup. So it's probably better to throw the whole unit away and start with a new one, including the line set, indoor coil, everything. Those are the dryers that are commonly used and what they can do. They're not 100% on acid reduction. They've been pretty good but I wouldn't guarantee they're going to pull all the acid out. That's it on those.